So looking at section 1.1, solving linear equations, this is question 14. So question 14 says solve the equation and also check for extraneous roots. So if we look at the equation, we have 3 over 4 plus 7 over x equals 1. So this equation has some fractional concepts here. An extraneous root is basically a root, or again, root is another word for solution. So an extraneous root is a root or a solution that we cannot actually use. So in math, one of the things that happens is division by zero is undefined. So remember, if I have five divided by zero, that's equal something. Mathematically, something times zero has to equal five. And that's not possible. This will never be true. So what we pick up on is division by zero is not possible. We refer to this as undefined. So in our problem, what we pick up on is it, these extraneous roots are also what we call exclusions. If there is a variable expression in the denominator, there's going to exist an exclusion. So what we did is we uh, set the... Uh, the expression equal to zero. So it looks like I lost a word there. So set the expression equal to zero and solve. The answer is going to be called an exclusion. So in finding the solution to the equation, if the answer is, is the excluded value, it cannot be the solution to the equation. So we have to throw it out. So in our problem, notice how x is in the denominator. So there is an expression where the variable is in the denominator. So to find the exclusion, we set that expression equal to zero. So we set x equal to zero. And we want to solve. But notice how it's already got x here. So notice how x equals zero is going to be solved already. So that's going to be the exclusion. So we will exclude x equals zero. So what that means is if I solve this equation, and I end up with zero as a solution, we can't use it. Because notice that if I put a zero in for x, I have this 3 fourths plus 7 over 0 equals 1. This 7 over 0 creates a division error. So we can't have a division error. So this is going to be considered an exclusion here. So this will actually not equal 1. And, by, and also on top of that, since we're dividing by the zero here, we can't even get an answer. It's going to be undefined. So now that we've kind of talked about that, let's actually approach solving the equation. So this 3 fourths plus 7 over x. So if we look at that equation now, 3 fourths plus 7 over x is equal to 1. The strategy is, if we come down here to our little checklist, so this looks like a pretty difficult equation. So again, what we want to do is we want to simplify each side of the equation by removing parentheses. That's just true to property. It can buy like terms. Also, kind of notes here, if fractions are present, multiply each side by the LCM. This may require parentheses and just true to property. So this is kind of where we are, is fractions are present. So in our problem, notice that the two denominators are 4 and x. So if we put those together, the LCM is actually going to be the 4 and the x. So what I need is I need that four and that X to make the fractions divide out. So my next step is to multiply each side by this four X. So I have this three over four plus seven over X. So also I have to use parentheses to show location here since it's a binomial. And over here, I have this four X times this one. The parentheses are not that big a deal over there since it's not a binomial. So let me clean that up a little bit. So I have this 4x, and we're going to multiply that by 1. So what we got to do now is we actually have to distribute the 4x through the parentheses. So to distribute through the parentheses, this 4x has to go through both of these pieces. So I have to multiply both of those pieces by this 4x. 
Now, the way I approach it, though, is I actually start with this four on the bottom. Notice this four on the bottom is going to divide out with that four there. So the only thing that's going to be coming through the parentheses is this x. So x times 3 is going to give me this 3x. So now I'm going to apply this 4x to the 7 over x. Notice this x is going to divide out the x over here. So the only thing that's going to go through the parentheses is actually this 4. So 4 times 7 is going to be this 28. In doing so, the fractions disappear from the problem. So now I have 4x times 1, which is just simply 4x. So this is my new equation without fractions. So we didn't have any decimals present, so we don't have to worry about that. So our next step is if the variable is on both sides, we want to pick on the little guy, and we want to use the zero pair there. So if I look at this equation, notice how the variable x is on the left side of the equation and it's on the right side of the equation. So what we want to do is get it on the same side of the equation. The way to do this, we use what's called a zero pair. So 3x and 4x, I would consider 3x littler. So what I want to do is zero out the 3x by using a zero pair, which in other words is its opposite. So the opposite 3x is I want to add a negative 3x, or we could also say subtract 3x. But I have to do that to both sides to keep the, the property of equality one, keep the equation equivalent. So by doing so, the only thing left over here then is the 28. And 4x take away 3x is actually 1x, or we just call that x. So notice how we do have x by itself at this point. x equals 28. Also note that that's not 0. So 28 is going to be the solution to this problem. And if I want to check it, 3 fourths plus 7 over 28, does that equal 1? So if I was checking this, Notice the three fourths, but also how seven twenty eight actually reduces to one fourth, because I can divide the numerator and denominator both by seven and reduce that down to one fourth. And we know that three fourths plus one fourth is four fourths, and four fourths is the same thing as one. So this is a true statement. It checks. So twenty eight is the solution. So we don't have to worry about the the exclusion there. So. I believe that's all I really needed to touch on on this question here. Okay, so we have X is in the denominator, so we have to deal with this exclusion. So the way we do that is we actually set the add expression equal to zero. And there was really nothing to solve. It just became X equals zero, so we exclude that. And then we go about the business of actually solving the equation by multiplying by the LCM to get rid of fractions. And then the question kind of plays out from there. So hopefully you find that helpful for this equation.